Welcome back to Western Pennsylvania. I'm here, I got my bike done, I balanced the back tire, and I have a YouTube thing on a video that shows how I balance that back tire. It's all ready for inspection, but one problem, and I always have it, is the side cover on this side where you use a key to get it off, you have your tool bag in there. To the right of that is a little peg that pushes into a rubber and that broke off. What's good is when it breaks off, it stays in that rubber and you have the little piece. I have glued that, I don't know how many times, uh, JB Weld, super glue, uh, just on and on, and it just will not hold. So I said it broke this time. I took that off to uh, show the shaft, how I lube it, I took that off. I am going to fix that once and for all. So here's the problem. You can see my side cover and it's on this back side right there is where it breaks off. And here's the little tip. I have glued that so many times and dropped it. And I am so sick of messing with it. It goes right on here. I can fit it on. But what I did was I filed this point flat because it's this bigger part here that goes through the rubber and then it holds back here. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole straight down through here. Then I'm going to set it on there and take my bit on down in here a little ways. I don't want to go out through it. I'm going to put it in there and then I'm going to get something like this screw screw it down through there and into here and screw them together then put some super glue around it and with this threaded through there into there it should work this you could put it in a vise and uh, do it on a drill press but I have a lathe so I'm going to use my lathe to put a hole down through here to start with so I'm going to take this little piece and put it in the lathe I have right there and I'm gonna just squeeze it enough to hold it I don't want to crush it and plus if you squeeze it too hard when you drill in there it's going to be pushing on your drill and first of all instead of just running a drill bit in there I have these there uh, that ends broke off that's a little starter drill and it's real solid I'll put it in the tail stock, bring it up, and go in there and drill to get a hole started. I have my starter drill into the tail stock chuck. I'll tighten this down. And I'll just start a little bit of a hole in there. better than using a long drill bit that might go up or down or left or right. This little uh, starter bit, it's short, stubby, and it'll hold better. And that's just soft plastic I'm putting that in. Now I can't go very, usually you just go a little bit. But I'm going to try to go in very deep, and you can see, if you can see it, uh, the starter bit doesn't have flutes clear down across it like a drill bit. But that should be good enough right there. That should take care of that. Now I can go and see what size drill, and I believe this is a screw I'll use. That is pretty good right there. I want something that's a little smaller than the screw because that screw will go clear down in where I need it and then I can just cut it off. That size there seems pretty good, but I'll find the appropriate drill bit and I'll run it in next and I'll go clear through that. Then this piece will go on the cover where it was and I can just use a hand drill to get a little deeper into it and then I can screw it in. To 
pick the right size hole, I have a hole gauge here, and there's a 530 seconds, and the screw will go through it too easy. So if I drilled it, it wouldn't hold. Uh, 964 it goes through. 1 8 it won't go through, but I can screw it through. That seems like that's pretty close. And then a 7 64 is too small. If I drill it too small and put the screw through there, and force it through, it's going to bust this out when I go to put it on. So I think 1 8 inch will be the perfect size. And what I have is, uh, the drill bits I'm going to use for that is, I have a good set of DeWalt's I keep up here by the lathe using for things like this. That's soft plastic, but I like using this set, this is my good set, rather than the cheap Harbor Freight. I have those ones you get, uh, you know, like nine dollars and something, about ten bucks. So I'm going to pick the one eighth out of here, and that's what I'll be drilling, and this time I'll drill it clear down through. Bring it up right to it. Tighten the tail stock down. Now I can drill that clear through. like to drill it in a little ways and then back it off. Keep doing that just to, because that's soft plastic. I don't want to hurt it. That's clear through it. And that should do it. It's so nice having this little lathe for stuff like this. Never thought I'd use it that much. And there we are. A little bit of plastic there, but that won't work. But that's that's going to be perfect. That'll screw right into it. Now what I'll do is I'll take this piece and set it right where it's going to go. I could even put a drop of super glue on, set it down on there. Then I'll take a hand drill and go with my eighth inch drill bit and go from here down in, but I don't want to go too deep. I don't want to go th clear through the cover. So I have everything right here that I need to continue this. And I'm first going to put a little bit of super glue right on here where it sets. And then I can put that, I can feel where it was. Right there. Super glue's amazing, but for this thing, because you're pushing it and pulling it and stuff, it's not going to hold it. I even put JB Weld on it. You can only put so much. Putting a screw down through it is the answer. And on this outside, even if I drilled clear through it, it's not going to show. It's down under the bottom. So if I go through it, it, it isn't even going to show, so it doesn't matter. I may want to go clear down through it. Uh, that way I could put glue on this end and up in here put some more glue to help hold it. But that threading that in there and usually if mine is like that yours is probably like that. You know it's like a car if you have a car and it rusts one place usually they're all rusted like that. It's just the way they're prone to do. There's one over here, it never breaks, but it's always this one, and I'm always so careful. I usually unlock it, pull this side first so it's straight. This one over here on the other side, if I pull it, then I'm pulling sideways on this one, so I always pull this, it still breaks loose. It has broke so many times. So what I'm gonna do is just leave that set for about 10 or 15 minutes. Instant glue works instantly, but I'm going to let it set. Then I can take my drill bit and go down through there. It's been setting a while, and this 1 8 inch uh, 
drill bit I don't want to go in first I was a thought if I open it up a little more down in there then go so let's see I put a 330 seconds in and I'm going to go through it so I ain't pushing on this piece so hard uh, but it got the mark here where it goes that's what I need There, that's all I need. Now, I can put my 1 8 inch in and go down through it. And I went clear through because like I said, back in there, it's not going to show. It won't hurt at all. But I've tried about every glue I know and you have to, that pulls so hard, it breaks it every time. that should do it so now find my screw and I'm going to go down through this little part first I uh, need a smaller bit And when I was waiting for that to dry, I went in and plugged my drone in. I haven't flown it for quite a while. So I thought I'd get it out and practice some on it. I need to practice. That is a little tight. Uh, let me get a pair of pliers to hold this. So I took a pair of pliers and held this real easy. And you can see how there's like even two little ears on it that's so when you push it in it holds it better and I'm going to just barely squeeze it and it's just starting to come out this end so now I can line it back up and I know it goes right like that and it might be a little tough I don't want to run the screw out through that thing and then turn the whole thing because it might not line up perfect. I'd like to do it this way. It's a little tough, but once it's done, it's going to hold. That uh, That's a bad setup. I think it's going down through it. I need a better screwdriver but yeah it's going through it and I drill clear out through it I think that oh yeah oh my that's tight that is good let me get a better fitting screwdriver run that clear in and then I can leave that little tip go cut it off right here be good as new I found this screwdriver works the best I can really grab it and the end of it works good and I've been working that down in there but I gotta turn this back so it's right lined up the way it should be then when I go to put it together I'm gonna take some uh, what do you call it uh, son of a gun or whatever you call it and wipe on that rubber to get it real slick and this this thing will actually go in easier so there it is you can see the screw there that ain't that isn't going to hurt nothing so now to make sure put a little dab of super glue on it there let it run down on it some here I'll let that dry good. Let that dry good and then I'll just take wire cutters and cut that screw off right there where it ends. And that'll be in there. That will hold it. Because that thing has broken off so many times and all I do is fix it. And then like I said, I'll lube up the rubber where that goes in. It'll uh, 
it'll slip in and out real good. They have a little peg down here, but they got the same type here as on the one I fixed right there. But this one holds. It's this this one over here. It must get bent a little sideways. And once it breaks, you have a hell of a lot of trouble. So that's the best thing to do to start is just drill clear down through there, put a screw in like I did, cut it off, you got it made. I'm ready to try my cover. I put some armor on this rag and there's a place up here a rubber that it goes in and then there's one right back in here I want to get some on and then down here and these uh, little pins that stick out to go in this one and this one the two on the top they have little ears to really hold in the one down here if you feel your uh, stud your stud here it's just a straight pin just to guide it because you have the key lock to uh, lock it on so let's see how that that fits now you have to put it under like that oh it went on nice there yeah you can barely see that screw I could I could even put a little black paint, get a little uh, black magic marker put on it. Anything you'd never even know it's there, but there, there it is. That will work. That really fixed it good. And I'm going to rub a little armor all on there and on these ones just to help it. What I'll do is I'll just take a black magic marker and go over that and make it dark. Never even tell it's there. So that's that there is a sure fix for your side case if it does that. Mine did it. It wasn't broke when I got it. It was me taking it off. I don't know. I just pulled on it wrong. Once it breaks, it's gonna keep breaking. Run a drill bit down through there, screw it just a hair bigger take your time if it's not going to go in if it wants to split the plastic take it out get a little smaller screw and it'll work another job done